Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to 20th of December and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. We are running to around a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the middle of uh, January. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 m UK weather forecast and we're going live tonight at 7pm. We're going to go through all of the 12Z model runs to see what they're showing for the potential for a cold and wintry Christmas. So uh, watch this space. Interesting live stream on the way in a couple of hours. This video will, of course, be focusing on the big night and 6 Z model runs. Please like, share, subscribe, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for dear Matt. Right, let's get on with it, then. We're going to start off with the latest wind from Matt from EarthNoSchool.net. Show that low pressure is out in the Atlantic, and we're bringing in a strong southwesterly southerly wind. So, remaining mild, of course, there's an active weather system through here that's bringing lots and lots of heavy rain eastwards across the country. With it. Following that wet weather, will be uh, clearer showery conditions for tomorrow rain coming back over the weekend. Central in temperature is now sitting at 7.9 that is still over 3 degrees above average 3.3 above 61 to 90 average and that's provisional to uh, yesterday to the 17th of December. Beats of a GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks on London today. Yes, the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment, but they're going to be coming down over the uh, next few days. And, well, your eyes don't deceive you. Turning cold, potentially, between Christmas and the New Year. So the upper air temperatures start dropping, really, from, like, tomorrow onwards, but like holding steady uh, until around the 22nd, 23rd, and then the drop takes place. It does look as though things could actually turn quite cold uh, between the between Christmas and the New Year. You'll notice the uh, green line, which is the GFS 6 set operation run, is one of the milder ensemble metals. Not an outlier, but certainly at the milder end of range, most of the ensemble metals are colder than that. Um, and, of course, we'll go through the data in a moment. So, uh, precipitation-wise, well, this is today's deluge across England and Wales. More wet weather to come over the weekend to the beginning of next week. And then we've got a drying trend through towards the New Year. How to no row look well look at that we do see some snowball spikes there uh, for london on those easterly winds any time about boxing day to about the 30th of december interesting uh, temperature anomalies for the next five days, 23rd of December, coming out above average, 8 to 12 day. Look at that, though, coming out substantially uh, colder than average. Goodness gracious me. And um, that goes on to uh, the uh, 10 to 14 day, which gets us to New Year's Day as well. Are we going to go from flood to freeze? Over Christmas and precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, Christmas Day, West Africa, South Drive, and average up in the north. Right, let's start going for chart day. Friends. So remember, we won't look at any 12s there for this video because we're going to do a live stream 12 set, a live streamed 12 set model roundup uh, later on uh, this evening at 7 pm. So get ready for that, everyone. But this is how the uh, midnight the UK Met Euro run was looking. Again, low pressure away to south southwest, high pressure building over Scandinavia into the start of next week and you're right don't see your Scandinavian high taking over there up to Christmas Day bringing the wind around to an easterly it's not an especially cold easterly but when was the last time I had a Scandinavian high and easterly wind at Christmas of course beyond that the cold air could start to uh, really dig in right well that's the UK Met done what about Icon have a look at that one so again the midnight Icon run with low pressure dropping away to south Sunday to Monday High pressure building over Scandinavia. Winds going into the east. A proper easterly there setting in on Christmas Eve. Uh, and like kinks in the ice bar, if you look out for kinky ice bar, uh, running across the outback could be an indication for some snow showers even to be running across the uh, south there. Upper air temperatures uh, with that midnight icon um, uh, looking like that. So, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, by Christmas Eve, uh, we are bringing minus 5 Celsius ice bar. Bit of minus 10 there. I reckon that snow shower is going to be pushing across England and Wales there 
Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Blimey! Wow, 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 wow. When was the last time we had that? Well, I don't know, but uh, interesting from the icon. Right, let's have a look at KMA then. See what that one's doing. Again, Hyper takes over from Scandinavia, brings the wind around into the east by Christmas Eve. Bit of a hint of high trying to get into retrograde there between Christmas and New Year. As it is, it's a cold Christmas week with a lot of hard overnight frost. Will we get that high pressure up to Greenland, bringing a very cold northerly, northeasterly for the New Year? Mmm. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, right, be a GFS uh, midnight run. Remember, we're staying clear, steering well clear of all of the 12s there, uh, model, round, uh, model runs. But like the GFS midnight run uh, was looking like this. So again, high pressure taking over across Scandinavia, bringing in a beautiful easterly wind. Follow those isobars back. And you can see that this instantly has air that is originating from Russia and the Urals through here, dragging across the entirety of, uh, of Europe into the West there. Snow showers likely to be drawn in on those strong and cold easterly winds there around Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Of course, the devil's going to be in the detail with that, but like the greatest winter snow showers would be in the south, southeast, much less so for the north, because you're closer to the high pressure, which sort of kills off all of the convection and whatnot. Uh, well, beyond that, high pressure knocking around the country, keeping it cold but mainly dry between Christmas and the New Year, and then the high pressure on the move as we get in towards the New Year, down comes this northerly blast for uh, New Year's Day. So a bit of cold uh, northerly setting in there after the cold easterly uh, when we get through to New Year. Hmm. Well, let's see what six then has to say. Now, remember, this is one of the milder options within the GFS ensembles. Let's see what's happening here then. So, easterly wings for uh, to see a little bit less so, but it's like slightly further south with that area of high pressure. Um, nevertheless, I think it still brings some snow showers in though, across southern southeastern regions there around Christmas, Eve, Christmas Day. Uh, easterly winds maintained between Christmas and New Year. High pressure sitting over the top of the country. Is that high going to go anywhere? Interesting. Certainly having a really good go at going into a retrograde. So by the end of the um, GFS 6 head run, we're still cold and low pressure being diverted down to south and southeast. And very cold air pulling over northern Europe. Blimey! Well, 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 well. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Get subscribed to Thanks so much for doing that. And why don't you consider giving a little donation to you for Christmas? And if you do that, we'll give you a shout out and say, we'll say Merry Christmas to you. And maybe you want to, um, uh, a Merry Christmas. Somebody else just shout out somebody else as well, happy to do that. Uh, pass on Christmas wishes if you would like us to. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. And uh, the link to our PayPal page where you can make that donation is in the description with this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for uh, doing that. Right, okay, well, let's get back to business. GM again, a good piss, any it? Good, all right. <laughs> Finally, the weather got have given me something to work with. Right, GM, again, low pressure to our uh, west and southwest on Sunday. High pressure building over Scandinavia, but the gem's different. Oh, look at that, gem different though. So gem keeps that low pressure close to us, does not get winged into the east until about Christmas Eve anyway. And then the Scandinavian high does take over and we, uh, along with the other model output, start to bring in like a proper EC. But even then, like the EC, the coldest of EC, being diverted down to the south really. Although by day 10, which is 28% but just hinting a bring in uh, that, that colder air from the east. And then the east um, is going to round it all off for these midnight uh, model runs. And this is how east um, is looking. So again, high pressure over Scandinavia, taking over when we get through to Christmas, Eve, Christmas Day. Winds in from the east. Those east winds could start to draw in some snow showers into the south and into the southeast as well. Uh, high pressure keeping it mostly dry, cold and frosty. Between Christmas and the New Year. Uh, and then hyper started to break down as we head into uh, the beginning of 2026. So there we see it by the 6th of January. 
we're starting to draw up some milder air from a selfie. ECM hinting uh, that this is only a brief colder interlude for Christmas. And then uh, we're back to those uh, milder, southerly southwesters by the new year. We'll see about that, of course. Right, this precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibet.com. Here is today's deluge. Loads of heavy rain sitting across the country. Uh, showers along as well as rain through the weekend to start of next week. Then we drop wind in from the east of Christmas and Christmas Day. Turning drier but quite cold. Wintry showers in the east. A little bit of rain sitting so down in the south maybe as well. Don't want to see the detail on all of that. And up to day 10, easy winds keeping it cold. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today. For day 10, from the Icelandic Met Office, gets us 28% for 16 hours of the ECM ensemble with high pressure of north winds coming in uh, from the east, mainly dry and chilly. We've got 11 with high pressure over and to the uh, northwest, mostly dry, probably quite cold. Uh, further 11, high pressure to the north, and that brings wind in from the east. We've got seven with high pressure just to the north. Again, we bring the wind in uh, from the east. And then we've got three with high pressure reaching in southwest to the north. So that's a little bit milder. Uh, and a further three with high pressure just to the west and to the northwest, and that brings the wind around to more of a north or a northeast to leave them. So all the options look and top. Well, this option is like milder, but most of the vast, vast majority of the options look mainly dry, uh, but quite cold there. In two time, uh, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 23rd of December, now uh, to the 2nd of January, I should say. What are you talking about, Gav? 2nd of January, 21 members of the ECM ensembles sending the high pressure into... Into retrograde with low pressure dropping through the north of the west of Europe, and that brings wind into a cold north or northeasterly. We've got 14 with high pressure just to our west. The course of the northern is being shunted off to the east at 9 with high pressure in the Atlantic. Low pressure east brings the wind in for a north or a northeasterly, and 7 with low pressure right over the top of the country, bringing showers and or longer spells of rain, sleet, or so. Should still be quite cold, even with both seven. So, main dry but quite cold at uh, day 10, possibly developing into a prolonged cold spell by day 14. We'll see. CFS B2 finally beats a 500 millibar high tide, broken down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 18th, 24th of December, Christmas Eve, low pressure to the south southwest, sinking south. Week two. Uh, will be the 25th December Christmas Day to New Year's Eve, 31st, high pressure to the north, around that comes this cold easterly wind. Week three <laughs> keeps it cold. It's going to be the first New Year's Day, 1st of January to the 7th, and that high pressure is maintained over and to the north of the country, around that in comes those eastern winds. And then week four, well, my press starting to sink. It's the 8th to the 14th of January. Still probably cold and frosty at this point, but my air is trying to get in over top. That's four weeks away, Burma. CFS has shifted a lot there for weeks two and three, and looking, I reckon, quite a lot colder. So we'll see about that. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to everyone for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this. And all my videos are content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Get to try too. Make sure to everyone for doing that. We're going to be back at 7 p.m. with a 12Z model round. I'm going to go through all the 12Z model runs, see whether this uh, cold Scandinavian high easterly Christmas is uh, maintained. Are we going to get a wobble? At some point, we nearly always have a wobble, don't we? Before a spell of cold weather. So, I'm expecting the models to wobble. I'm expecting model wobbles. But, well, let's wait and see. A bit interesting live stream. In any case, I shall see you at 7 for that. For this, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.